All right guys, so before we get into the video, just a disclaimer, if you hear music in the background, that is Janice. She's in the bathroom right now. Um, I told her I'd rather make this video by myself. So as you guys can tell by the title, um, I'm sure you guys probably got some thoughts in your head as to what this might be, and odds are you're probably right. So I didn't think it was gonna come to this point. Um, never thought I was gonna have to make this video, but here I am. So, straightforward just to say what it is grandma didn't make it she um she was getting better i told you guys she was getting better and she was she was really getting up there you know um but she got tired i guess and that's okay she's been tired for a long long time very long time and she just i guess couldn't do it anymore so I'm trying to be as strong as possible here in this video. Um, the other videos, I feel like I was way more emotional. Um, but this didn't just happen like, you know, last night or anything like that. This was actually, um, sorry, my days are all messed up. This was actually three days ago, which is why we haven't posted a video in that long. So, Basically, just to give you guys a quick rundown of what happened, um, I ended up getting a call from my mom in the middle of the night. I think it was like 4, 4.30 in the morning. As soon as I saw my phone ringing, I knew it wasn't good news because, you know, when your phone rings in the middle of the, <clears throat> when your phone rings in the middle of the night, it's never good news. So she told me to come to the hospital that my grandmother was rushed over there. So normally whenever I got news about my grandmother, um, especially when this whole incident happened, every step, every move I made, I was very anxious, very nervous, moving at like a thousand miles an hour. And when I got the call, I wasn't like that. So it's kind of weird. It's like, it's like I already knew. Um, I got ready, taking my time, drove to the hospital, Took my time, wasn't speeding. Um, the roads were very icy, you know, that morning and everything too. That was another reason why I wasn't speeding or anything like that. But it's like I didn't feel the need to. Um, <clears throat> my mom tried to keep a strong, like, voice over the phone, but I could tell. So when I got to the hospital, she basically told me um, she just got tired, and that's okay. She's, she was tired for a long time. Um, <sighs> sorry for the cuts, guys. I'm trying to do this as like without any interruptions as possible, and I think I'm doing a pretty good job so far. But um, yeah, she just to say at least she got tired, man. That's okay. It's all right. Um, my grandmother was a very, very religious woman, so she's at where she's always wanted to be. And I'm happy with that. So, other than that, there's really not much else to say. You know, we did everything that we could for her. We went above and beyond. You guys are probably expecting for me to take a break because last time I wanted to take a break. Honestly, it's been three days already since it's happened and I don't want to take a break. Because I realized last time I did that, I get too in my head. And I start thinking way too much. And I don't want to do that this time. So yeah, guys, that's uh, that's pretty much it. I just want to let you guys know because a lot of you guys do ask and I really appreciate it. Um, I also want to thank you guys for like all the support, the prayers throughout like the whole month. I think a little bit over the month, but thank you for everything you guys around the world it was crazy um can't thank you guys enough for that honestly and like i said i'm not taking a break i'm going right back into the regular routine um it's just best mentally for me and um you know i know that's what my grandma would want so last thing i want to say before i close this video out is that um i told her about you guys and all the prayers and all the support you guys were wishing on her and you could tell like she wasn't able to talk because um she had a breathing tube in but 
you can tell she felt the love. She did. She really did. Um, but I want to close this video off with saying, again, thank you throughout the whole process, journey, whatever you want to call it. Um, and just, I got to ask you guys for like one last thing. Whoever you guys have in your life, mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle, whoever, your guardian, um, tell them you love them. Give them a hug. At the end of the day, family's all you got. You know, just make sure it's good family because... You know, some family members, they're a little, a little rocky. You don't know if you really want to consider them family, but, you know, whoever you got, make sure you tell them you love them, hug them, let them know how much they mean to you. It's pretty much it, guys. That's my last favor to ask, for you guys, to ask from you guys. So, again, thank you for everything. I really appreciate it. My family did a whole lot. And, yeah, I know she's in a better place now. So, see you guys in the next video.